The ice that for millennia nearly covered the Arctic Ocean has been melting so quickly that the polar ice cap today is the smallest it's been since satellite record keeping began more than 30 years ago. This was the polar ice cap in 1980. Now it's about half that size, and the remaining ice is thinner than it used to be, making it more likely to melt next summer. David Robinson, a climatologist with Rutgers University, says the record for melting Arctic sea ice was shattered in 2007. We thought that might be the record for quite a while, and here we are just five years later, and we've shattered that record. We're seeing uh, losses of sea ice I never thought I'd see in my career. Robinson says the Arctic could be ice-free well before the previous estimate of the year 2050. That's bad news for polar bears who live on sea ice, but it could also mean extreme weather for much of the northern hemisphere. We might change the pattern of the jet stream, might make it flow further to the north and dip further to the south, um, be a more windy, twisty jet stream. That could generate more storms and even greater extremes in temperature. Through the first eight months of 2012, 33 states set all-time records for average highs. Government scientists said today that trend is likely to continue at least through December, making this the warmest year on record, especially in the Midwest and Northeast. There's one possible piece of good news in all this, Scott. Scientists say that if that jet stream does become more windy, twisty, that could mean more rain for the South and for the Great Plains, rain that's desperately needed after years of drought. Well, looks like a nice day there in Washington and here in Florida yes, too, at least for now. Chip, thanks very much.